Hey guys, for Second Realms, and I'm here today to show you the new Minecraft 1.3 pre-release. And if you click on the link in the description box, it'll say server download. It'll bring you to this page on the Minecraft form. As you can see right here, it says download the 1.3 pre-release. We're going to click on that. Hit save. And now that is downloaded. You're going to have to do that. It'll be real quick. That's just to update to 1.3 to play on 1.3 pre-release servers. And then for server host, click on this download, the minecraft underscore server dot char. Hit save. And those are both done. And uh, also, if you look at these, these are some new things that they added. I'll also have a link in the description box of all the patch notes that they added. There's a bunch of stuff, but yeah, you can look at it yourself. But anyways, right now, I'll show you what to do with these jar files. All right, so we have the Minecraft jar. We're going to go to our start menu and type in percent app data percent and hit enter. Once we're there, we're going to click on the dot Minecraft folder. We're going to go to Ben and we're going to delete the Minecraft out of there. All right, now that that's deleted, we're going to take that other Minecraft.jar file and drag that in here. And now you're all done and you're updated to 1.3. Let's test it out. Log in. And yes, as you can see right here, Minecraft 1.3. All right, so now for the server host, we're going to come to our desktop and hit uh, and right click, go to new and new folder. And I'm just going to name it Minecraft 1.3. And we're going to drag that .jar file in there. And as you can see, that's all that's in there. So now for my other videos, I always have this .bat file that runs the server and uh, shows a command doc. And you can type in commands on it. So this is what the one I copied from is going to look like. Well, this is the one I did copy. So this is the thing that I need to get rid of, though. This craft bucket 1.2.5, and I'm going to change that to Minecraft underscore server dot char. X out of that and hit save. And let's hope that that works. And yes, this is going to pop up too, but I also like this black menu right here. Allows you to type in it. And uh, yeah. Alright, now that that's done, I'm going to stop it real quick so I can go through the server's properties file with you guys. Alright, now that that's closed, right here it says server properties file. We're going to double click on that and let's look at it. Alright, allow another, that's like the hell, you know, lava and everything. Keep that as, oh, I'll do false, you know, it, it makes it a little laggy, I think. Uh, level name, you can just keep that as default. Allow flight false so people can't use a fly mod, but if you want them to be able to, put that to true. Um, server port, you can leave that as that. Uh, level type, there's default and flat. I'm just going to go default. Um, level CD, you don't have to mind that. And for server IP, either put your Hamachi IP or your external IP that you can find on whatismyip.com or ipchicken. I'll just use IP chicken this time, and it's right here. Copy that, and put that in there. Make sure there's no spaces or anything after. I'll save that just for now. Max build height, okay. Spawn NPCs, all right. Whitelist, um, you get a doc right here called whitelist. You put names in it, and only those people will be able to log on to your server. So I'm just going to keep that as false, because I don't really care if people log on. Hardcore mode. All right, so that's a new thing with 1.3. Hardcore mode, which I believe is, um, either this one right here is where if players die on your server, they're banned, or it's you have one life, and if you die, the world's deleted. But I'm pretty sure it is if a player dies on your server, they're instantly banned. That's what I read on the patch notes, at least. All right, online mode. Mine said the true because I bought Minecraft, so I have the premium version of Minecraft. I didn't pirate it or whatever. So if you had the correct version, put that as false, or you won't be able to log on. It'll say bad log on. And I'm just going to keep it as true. PvP true, difficulty 1. It goes from 0 to 3. 0 being peaceful, 3 being hard. I'm going to keep it on 1 as easy. Game mode 0, meaning survival. 1 as creative mode. Max players 20. Spawn monsters. Okay, generate... And message of the day, that's going to be subscribe to Forsaken Realms. And now I'm going to X out of that and save. 
All right, now let's start up your server again. And it looks like it is going to be running on my external IP, which is a good thing. And I'll minimize that, go ahead and pause the video and show you again whenever it's all ready. All right, guys, so this is my 1.3 server, and it was randomly generated. And this is just survival mode. Nothing real new, except for some bug fixes and everything. But I'm going to go ahead and go to my command log and make myself an OP. All right, now I'm OP, and now I'm going to change my game mode. Oh. Game mode, Forsaken Realms, 1. Okay. Game mode, 1, Forsaken Realms. There we go. Alright, so as you can see, they do have a new font right here. That was something new also. And now let's look at the game mode. Alright, so here is the new uh, creative mode um, inventory. You got all your blocks right here, building blocks. And that looks like it's emerald. And that's the emerald door. Then you got decorative blocks. Um, I don't know. I have furnaces in there. I think that's more of a useful item. Oh, here's an ender chest. We'll show you that. Um, TNT. I really like how they did separate it all. We got a book and quill. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Search items. You can search through food, tools. Combat brewing, yeah, all the potions, which is good, and materials. And then you can also look at your survival inventory. Anyways, with the book, you can type in anything you want. Anything, 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 anything. And then hit sign and entitle this book um, YouTube by Per Second Realms. <laughs> Alright, so now people can read it, and that's all. You can drop it. People can pick it up oh, and read it. So that's pretty cool. Ender chest. All right, so these, just like a normal chest, put something in there. Uh, yeah, it can't be a double chest. And so I put that book in there. Now let me put over another one right here, and you get the same thing. Which is really cool, so you can do it, you know, have an ender chest at home and then another one somewhere else and have the same items. So, yeah, guys, that's all I want to show you with 1.3. You can experiment with by yourself with it. But uh, it's pretty cool, and I hope you enjoy, and this video helped. Have a good day.